uh, uh, sides, uh, if you will. What, what about comparing Bitcoins to a credit card? That's virtual, right? It is virtual, just not insured. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I wouldn't want my money to not be insured. If somebody steals my credit card or steals my debit card, the bank covers that. I'm not That's responsible right. for that. That's right. Who's accountable for Bitcoins, Nick? At the Tell moment, me that. It's funny. At the moment, nobody is. Oh, there you go. Hello. How, however, if you look at the people who are putting money into Bitcoin and Bitcoin businesses, Tim Draper of Draper Fisher, uh, Mark Andreessen of Andreessen Horowitz, uh, and most lately, the Winklevoss twins uh, of Facebook fame, when you look at the people that are putting money in, you can see that their vision is to take this infrastructure and blow it out global and blow it out to be a very useful function. All the issues we're talking about now should be addressed as that system grows. But is that the way to put trust in something, just because some other guys who you think are smart are doing it? I mean, it sounds like back in 1990, when we threw all fundamentals out the window, and we said, we don't care about earnings and revenue, all we care about it clicks to the website. That didn't work out well. No, that's absolutely right. The issue about Bitcoin is that eventually it has to become a currency, something useful for us to transact business around the world. And the infrastructure is there for that. But I think the point is very valid that we have to continue to control the growth and control the utility it has. All right. Great points on both uh, sides. Nick, good to see you. Thank you. Nick Colas joining us. Francis Newton, thank you so much for your insights. We appreciate it. We'll keep following uh, the Bitcoin story. Up next, if it was.